everyone. My name's Jonathan. John always my street name. My mum and dad don't speak to me anymore. They said to me, Jono, you're always clock watching whenever you get to mine. I said, don't be stupid, dad. I've not got time for that. <laughs> I'm from Kirby. Surprisingly, I weren't bullied. Not in this shirt. <laughs> I'm from Kirby. It's rough Kirby. Went to a pub quiz there the other day. First question was, what are you looking at? Top prize was an alibi. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm not the weird one in my family. I've got a brother. He's one of them kids. Listens to Lincoln Park, unironically. <laughs> Winds up sometimes, I say to him, you remind me of a school shooter. <laughs> and I was sat with my mum and dad the other week having lunch with them. And he went into the kitchen and he had cutlery drawer open and we're all fucking tapping him. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. That's a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> but a girlfriend, she's all right. She's just thick as fuck. <laughs> but there's a method behind the madness, do you know what I mean? So, the other week, I tell stories mostly. This is a story. We went to the Asda the other week. The other way you can get the Asda, go to the Asda and you can make your own pizza and it's fucking sick. <laughs> but we got one of them and it was going to be a boss night. We were going to get that, put a film on. And we got home, we cooked it, we pulled it out the oven. <laughs> and rather than a pizza cutter, she pulled out a pair of scissors. <laughs> but they were sewing scissors. <laughs> and I get it, yo, because of the reach. I said, where's the pizza cutter? She said, oh, I broke it. Well, what do you mean? She went, I put too much pressure on it. I said, what, did you push too hard? She went, no, I was using it to cut other things. <laughs> too much responsibility. That's usually funnier. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to hear a story about a sex worker. No. I used to tell a story about Thailand, but I'm going to tell a story when I went to Amsterdam. Um, I wanted a quiet weekend away, do you know what I mean? So I went with my ex. Um, who's been to Amsterdam? I'm not a grass, you can tell me. <laughs> Did anyone go to a sex show? Well, we said, well, when we went to Amsterdam, she wanted to do Madame Two Swords, the dungeons, all the touristy stuff. We went, we did all that, then it was my turn. So let's go to a sex show. <laughs> and we turned up to this sex show, and the way, it was, the way it works is you go in, you've got a thing called a banana show. Can you imagine what they do with the banana? They had a thing called the candle show. Now, this surprised me, the candle show. What happened was we turned up and this girl was doing a handstand. And she had the candle in her ass. <laughs> not the lit end, obviously, do you know what I mean? They're not sadists. <laughs> we walked in and I just looked at me ex and went fucking mad, that, innit? Let's stay for a drink at least <laughs> and see where this goes. <laughs> so she gets off her hands. we sat down. I realise she's old as fuck. This part of the show now is audience participation. But because everyone else can see her age, no one put their hand up. And my ex felt our lass. And she went, John, I'll put your hand up, lads. But she's the type of person to shout at me even when she told me to do something, right? And I didn't, I didn't, and then I went, fuck it, I'm going to have to because no one else was putting their hand up. So I said, yeah, come on. Get on the stage. She still starts with the strip tease, and then she says to me, open your mouth. I said, no. <laughs> but by saying no, my mouth opens. And she pulled out this big rubber cock. So she shoves that in my mouth. And tells me to lie down, but I can't let it. I don't know what I mean. She's doing her best. I try and please her. So I've, does it, I've got this cock. Hey, out. Laying down. She does a thing on it. I shut my eyes, think of England. And I get up and I go, no, I can't do that ever again. And I sit with my ex. And you know what she did? She looked at me and she went, hey, what the fuck did you go up there for? 
I've been John Samori. Good night. God bless. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.